So this is the Swift, it's the latest or one of the latest designs that's been launched in the Mod class. We, um, it's a collaboration with Brad Cawthorn from Cawthorn Composites and myself. Um, I designed the boat and Brad's the builder. Um, all the foils supplied are Demi Design foils that have been out for a little while and, and quite uh, refined by now. And the platform is really um, designed to be the fastest out there. That's been the primary goal objective. We haven't um, tried to make it the cheapest or, you know, we just wanted the best solutions we could come up with to increase the performance of the boat. And, Part of that has been um, main focus on increasing uh, the aero, which is I think huge. So as you can see, there's quite a few fairings that cover critical parts of the boats, like ropes. All these clip off for deer rigging uh, if you want to, and then sort of press back down again. It just means all that is um, covered. Um, we've got a removable foredeck, so this entire foredeck actually removes with four bolts and all the take-ups live underneath the foredeck so that we could have a long run of shock cords up and down the boat so things like this you know they just disappear um, under the foredeck you can take the foredeck off for excess if you need to repair everything um, but the idea is that you know you leave it on if the boat's set up you don't need to take that off you can get access to your control lines and through this cover so if you want to put the pin in and get sailing this cover is the only thing that needs to come off um, we also wanted to have one part act as a deck sweeper for the sail so you're not building a foredeck and then another part that has to live on the boat so we were quite um, keen on making sure that we get a proper end plate effect with the sail that's the up and down winds so sails like you know lift quite low um, and we get a complete seal on the deck um, I also really wanted to focus on the wings uh, usability is a huge part of the class I think um, we wanted to differentiate ourselves in the sense that we could make a really fast boat that was actually accessible and easy to sell for everybody, not just the top 5% of the fleet. Um, so the key for that has been the wing frame design. Obviously, elliptical sections that really uh, maintain attached flow across the entire wing platform. But more importantly is the actual shape in terms of usability. So by having the concave this way, we are lowering the midpoint of the wing bar, which is what you notice when you're crossing the boat. So for the ease of foil tacking, you want a low wing platform, but for the uh, performance benefit of increasing riding moment, you want the high wing bar. So the best way to achieve that is obviously the concave shape. So that's driven that design feature. And then um, lots of little details, you know, like uh, control take-ups inside the core, you know, they're hidden underneath, so there's no ropes coming and going through the air. The gantry design has been quite a challenge. We really wanted to reduce the volume at takeoff, so it's heavily scalloped on the underside to uh, reduce the amount of water because uh, they're not supposed to be a buoyant structure under the rules, so everybody carries X amount of water in the gantry. If we can carry 5 litres rather than 15, it just means that we're a little bit lower takeoff and we're not carrying the drag at the back of the boats. But we've got a venturi at the back which is class legal but allows us to drain the water as soon as we're moving. So in five, six knots of boat speed we actually don't have any water there anyway. Um, the hull shape has been primarily designed for aero benefits. Um, you know, I don't see a lot of point designing for low riding conditions because we don't spend any time in the water anymore. So the curvature of the underside of the hull it's been CFD and it's the shape that we came up with as um, the most aerodynamic uh, for upwind speeds that we are uh, experiencing. And also maintaining the height of the front wing frame. You know, something that we think is very important is that depth through the boat through here. Particularly on a venue like this where we get uh, wind against tide and big chop, it's important that we maintain the front wing frame out of the water so we can lean to windward and still take off and not have waves come over the wing bars. So it's been designed as an all-round package, not, not just something that works in flat water or just certain conditions. We really want to make sure that it's optimised across all conditions to be an all-round boat for, for most sailors that um, may not be Olympic champions but that want to go as fast. <laughs> Thank you. That just looks good. <laughs> <laughs> it looks good, that's right. It has to look good. <laughs> I am you. a designer after all. Yeah. Thank you.